Good afternoon, this is Schweitzer. I'm going to do a quick little answer key to a workbook problem on neutralization. So this is just our very first kind of idea of on your own. It's just something you should be trying on your own. This is something just to check your answers. Um, okay, what is neutralization and how do I describe it with a model? So, all right, um, let's get a pen here quickly. So our players here are the hydronium ion. Just, just draw this out. What's hydronium ion? It's just an H plus ion, no electrons. And the hydroxide ion, it just looks like this. And we typically just draw it like this, like that with a negative charge, or even just OH negative. We don't always show the, you know, you could draw it like this, for example, if you wanted to be very technical, you could go like that or like this it's a co it's got a covalent bond here okay and negative one charge now again uh, chemists tend to sometimes tend to be very particular about things and sometimes they're very lazy so we typically this is the most common way we would draw that guy out and water of course we're just going to draw it like this um, if I want to model it, or I might just, just do it like this. Uh, you'll see in this worksheet, that's kind of how I'm going to draw it. Okay. All right. So neutralization, uh, just this H, uh, grabs onto an OH and it forms a little water molecule looking like this. So we have, we, we draw a little more, you know, exact, it'd be something like this H plus ion. And then we have the OH negative ion that has these unpaired electrons here to the H and then this guy doesn't have any electrons sure would like some apparently so it's going to borrow along with these two guys here so we got these two electrons here and that's going to form these two are still sitting still this guy is still bonded there but those electrons that were there will now be contributed to the water to the H like that so those two electrons here are just these two guys right there Okay. This is your, really your prototypical or your pretty your, your typical neutralization reaction. Acid plus a base forms water. All right. So, although it's not always the case, you can always get water, but sometimes you know just an H given to something really. So, all right. What do we got here? So, just trying to model these guys out. Of course, you should be pausing the video and trying these on your own. Uh, but sometimes I like to circle them. I got this guy plus this guy forms a water. All right. And then this guy and this guy forms a water. This guy and this guy forms a water. And what's left? Well, I have two H's left. Two H pluses left. Definitely, this beaker definitely will be acidic. I got this H pluses left over. Strong acid. Okay, there we go. Again, a couple things you might note. Um, I'm not showing the anions here. So this is a real simple example. This thing would have five anions here. One, two, three, four, five. And the fact that they're the H plus and the anion are separated means that I'm modeling a strong acid here, by the way. Okay. Um, there would be cations here plus one um, and this would be typically there'd be a, some sort of metal so that would be a metal it's a positive and it's a very soluble uh, hydroxide could be NaOH could be KOH doesn't really matter and of course all of my ions will be present in the final beaker too Okay, let's go to the next one. Complete the beaker, circle whether it's basic, and write out the reaction. Okay, so this one is just going to be okay. Well, all right, so we're missing the middle beaker. So let's see what we got here. So this H grabbed onto something, an OH, and formed a water molecule. This H plus grabbed onto another OH that must have been here because that's how it got here. A little bit of detective work here. And then this one must have grabbed onto another one of these guys, form this one. And then another one of these guys, of course, grab this guy. So um, it's important to realize this is a 
future thing that we're looking at here is that can you figure out how many hydroxides are in something or bases or acids without knowing? Yes. You can drop in some of NH plus and you can figure out that for every one of these you drop in, one of these has to be present to neutralize it. Now we can track that process. And that's a way of determining unknown concentrations of things. Either way, my reaction is going to be H plus plus OH negative will yield water. Now again, and are we going to be a sick or basic? Or oh, we're neither. We're going to be neutral. So just so aware, again, there are cations here that we don't have. So this picture here, really this formula is a net ionic equation. It does not include the spectator ions. Okay, and of course we have one, two, three, four spectator cations here. And I drew those as these as being positive, but they're supposed to be negatives. So pardon that. Don't want to have two positives there. One's positive, one's negative. All right. Um, all right. Next one. Complete the beaker. Circle is a basic. Okay. So now, okay, what we got here. Figure this beaker out. Okay. Well, we know that a hydroxide will get around to an H plus to form a water molecule. Okay. We know this hydroxide will grab an H plus to form a water molecule. But I have this guy left here, which means that this means that this acid was in excess. Or that this guy is the limiting reactant. So that guy there just didn't have anybody left to react with. And therefore, he would likely be right here. And since we have excess acid, likely this thing is going to be acidic. All right, let's go to the next page. All right, complete the missing beaker. Okay, let's do the final beaker here. So again, you should be pausing and trying these out on your own. This guy and this guy form water. Now this is pretty straightforward. This guy and this guy form a water. And this guy and this guy form a water. And I have excess of this one. He just gets floating around, has no one to play with, I guess you could say. Okay. And we would think this would be likely acidic. All right. Next up. Complete the beaker. Okay, now. All right. So, um, looking for the final beaker. So, this one here, once again. Now, this one I'm showing all of the ions. Okay, so this guy and this guy forms a water. This guy and this guy forms a water. And then the rest of it are just spectators. I'm just going to use plus to represent this sodium. And there's two of them. And then I have a Cl2 chloride, and I'll just use negative side those. All right. What's my molecular equation? All right, let's do this. Uh, molecular equation would be H Cl plus N A O H yields N A C L plus water. Now, it's super common to have this sort of idea that we have an acid plus a base yields a salt plus water. We call this guy the salt. Now, it's a coincidence here that it's an ACL. This is also referred to as table salt. It is not the only salt that exists. And in fact, if I swapped out different acids with different spectators, um, we get different salts. So it really could be any ionic compound. It does not have to be NaCl. We'll see that coming up momentarily. And this doesn't always have to be happening all the time. 
There are different variations of different things, and if you understand what's going on in a molecular level, you'll see that uh, things can change a little bit. But what's the molecular level you're removing, spectators? It's just going to be H plus plus OH negative yields water. So that table salt was just really just a spectator. All right. What's the concentration of the acid beaker? Okay. All right, so now we're going to backtrack this thing. It appears to me that this thing is neutral. Cross that off. That's neutral. So what I get from this, this is kind of unusual here, that I know that because we didn't have any excess acid in base at the end, it would appear that the original base has the same amount of moles, I'm put moles here, I don't know the, let's say the volume, so I'll just go with moles of the acid. So that means I have, if I have one, two, three, four bases here, I had to have had four acids here originally. That's kind of a big idea that we'll be using more later on to figure out unknowns. That idea at a molecular level was really important. And now I'm just going to use. Um, well, I don't have, so a couple things missing here. Complete the acid beaker and add speculants. Okay, so um, here I got my one, two, three, four cations at a spectator. So one, two, three, four cations. And I also have to have four anions. Let's draw them right here. One, two, three, four. Um, didn't say what it was, but it's. A, I do know that it's one of my strong acids. How do I know this is a strong acid? Because I'm separating them two. So this is modeling a strong acid. Okay. And I believe we are done. Thank you very much. Hopefully that was helpful.